is my hearts diverse um today i'm going to be showing you guys how i bleach my knots on my closures and these are the products that i use a mixing bowl of course a mixing brush um a toner shampoo also a cream peroxide developer a 40v 40 volume neutralizing shampoo plus conditioner which removes the product uh, and also a regular conditioner of your choice, the Dusted Extra Strength BW2 Power Lightener. Uh, that's just one packet and a pair of gloves. So you need all of these ingredients, you guys. And we're going to go to the next step. Extra Strength uh, Powder Lightener to the bowl. And then we're going to start adding a little bit by little bit of the cream peroxide developer 40 volume. And mix a little bit by little bit in it to get it to the consist consistency that you need it to be at. And just keep mixing it up. And you want to add a little bit more. And mix it up again. As you see, it's starting to change. The texture is starting to change. And you're going to keep adding a little more so you can get it to the consistency that you need it to be at. You don't want it to be too, too um, watery. Let me say it like that. Because you want it to stick to the, uh, the lace. This should be it. And you just want to stir it. Keep stirring it up. Make sure you get all the powder on the sides. I would suggest you wear a mask because it's very strong. Very strong. And you want it to be this consistency, not runny.
keep stirring it up. Ooh, see how thick it is? It should be just like that. And we're gonna move on to the next step. As you can see, this is the color of the lace before I bleach it. You can see right here. Okay, and we're gonna turn it over so you can see um, the knots before it's bleached. There you have it right here. These are the knots before it's bleached. And we're gonna get started on bleaching. We're gonna start by bleaching it. You don't want to rub it too much because you don't want it to get on the hair itself. So I'm trying not to do that. But you, and you also don't want to put too much because you need all of it for the, the full, um, lace that you need to cover. And this is kind of the exact reason why you don't need it to be too runny so it doesn't go through the um, lace. And I think I did get enough. One pack should be enough for full closure. Just be very careful that you do not get it on the hair itself. That is what the neutralizer is for. The shampoo neutralizer is to um, get all that out so it doesn't bleach the hair.
And you're gonna leave that on, let it sit for about, I would say about 14, between 14 to 20 minutes. just to make sure it processes very well. guys with full lace and we're gonna wait for a few minutes for that to process and I'll show you how to wash it out you want to also make sure that you put fall paper over the area that you um, bleached so it could process that way but don't press down on the area where you bleach just around it okay guys we're gonna go ahead and start waiting for my camera to to steady okay we're gonna go ahead and start um, rinsing it out the bleach out Because we want to get it off this lace. You want to make sure you're washing the whole entire head, including the side as well, both sides, and you want to first start by using your neutralizing shampoo to get all that bleach off. You don't want uh, any of the bleach to get on the, the hair and bleach the hair later. So you want to keep on scrubbing that all out and rinsing it. And I can already see the area that was bleached. It looked like it came out perfectly fine to me. And you just keep rinsing all that out. Just to be on the safe side, you want to put a little bit more so you can make sure all that bleach is out.
I would say thoroughly scrub it just to make sure you get every area. And you don't want to scrub it too hard because you don't want the lace to rip. Go through your hair and rinse it out. I actually learned this technique from another, which I will name her name, across the screen. I mean, her video was awesome, and that's how I learned how to do a uh, mine. And I see it came out very, very well. I was a little scared at first, scared at first, but you gotta do what you gotta do. If you want that lace on your head, unless you want to pay some money to another stylist to do it, but I mean, why do that when you can do it yourself? So we're going to just rinse the rest of this out. And it just kind of feels as though this hair is so delicate. <laughs> Rinse all this stuff, take this stuff all out of the um, the sink so I can add the toner. that neutralizer works. Okay. Now you're going to add rinse that off a little bit more to make sure all that is out of there. Now you're going to make sure to go ahead and use this and this is the toner so you can tone the um the color so it doesn't look too orangey like I'll just put a little bit of water on it just scrub 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 I may have put a little bit too much, but that's okay. It's gonna come out really clean. So like I said, why pay a stylist to do it when you can do it yourself so you can save money? I'm all about saving money. We just kind of work that in there so we can kind of tone that color. Hot water 
Ooh, like cool water to rinse this hair. So cool water to rinse it out. Cause you don't want, you know, your lace. I, I don't know, I don't want to mess up my lace, so. Conditioner. And just condition the hair. It's all, it looks all tangled right now, but I will comb it out or something. And this is a um if you're wondering what type of hair this is, body wave. And if I'm not mistaken, it is an, um, a 16 or 18 inch, one of them. Just continue to rinse all that conditioner out. You don't want nothing left over. off after I comb it out. Let me take my glove off. This is the final result, you guys, of bleaching it. And you can see where it's tinted. Um, this is the color of it before it was tinted. And this is the color of it after you could tell where it was um tinted at. i mean not tinted i keep saying tinted bleached there you go i think it came out really well let's go in another spot Let's see how that looks, not just in that area. This is another area where it was bleached. Okay, in here, and we're gonna turn it on the opposite side to see the difference as well. Can you see the difference? <laughs> well, this is basically how you want your closure to be bleached but um you guys make sure you like comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified guys and share my videos share my channel thank you guys for watching bye bye